we are discussing brief but essential process to create Excel program file and convert to Excel add-in file along with RibbonX custom UI interface. Five steps are involved for this discussion. Create a new workbook. Write code in the code window. Consolidate the program file. Create custom UI 14xml file for RibbonX custom UI interface. Convert to Excel add-in and install the Excel add-in. Create a new workbook. Start the Microsoft Excel of 2007 and later, create a new workbook for programming by clicking button new. Click button save. Browse the folder you want to locate the new file and give your file name. Save.xlsx file as macro enabled xlsm file. To start recording your first macro, you first need to find the macro recorder, which is on the developer tab. If the developer tab is not on the ribbon, add it by using the customized ribbon tab of the Excel options dialog box. The developer tab is essential to develop and manage your program henceforth. To make easy to switch from worksheet to visual basic editor and vice versa, add view code control on quick access toolbar. In addition, adding view code control on quick access toolbar will help you view visual basic editor easily. Go to file. Select Options. On the Option dialog, select Customize Ribbon. At the right pane, check the checkbox for Developer. On the Option dialog, select Quick Access Toolbar. At the left pane, locate View Code Control and add it to the right pane. Now Developer tab is on the ribbon and the View Code Control is on the Quick Access Toolbar. Customize Visual Basic Editor and start to build your program. Click the view code control to go to Visual Basic Editor. Customize Visual Basic Editor and start to build your program. To facilitate your coding, add edit, debug, and user form controls to standard toolbar. Go to view, select toolbar and click edit, debug, and user form one after another. Insert a standard module and name the module, for example, MD main. Start to write your code inside the code window. Example program is complete with a user form module, two standard modules including MD main and one class module. Finishing your program. If you may want your own project name, default is VB project, change the VB project to your project name in the properties window. To compile your program, choose debug on main toolbar and click compile. This step forces a compilation of the VBA code and it also identifies any syntax errors so that you can correct them. To protect your code, go to Tools and select your project properties, click the Protection tab, select the Lock Project for Viewing checkbox, and enter a password twice. Click OK. The code will remain viewable, and the password protect will take effect the next time the file is opened. Save your program. Reactivate Excel, and choose File Info to display the properties of the workbook, then click Advanced Properties. Enter a brief descriptive title in the Title field and a longer description in the Comments field. Save your Excel file and close. Create Custom UI 14xml file for Ribbonx Custom UI Interface. Download Custom UI Editor for Microsoft Office. Google Custom UI Editor. Go to bettersolution.com. Scroll down on the custom UI editor page. Locate reference at bottom of the page. Click download link and save zip file to your machine. Unzip office custom UI editor setuk.zip. Click office custom UI editor setuk.msi to initiate installing custom UI editor. Follow instructions guided by installation wizard. When you reach installation complete, click close. Decreate custom UI14.xml file for your program. Click custom UI editor for Microsoft Office. Select file, open to navigate your program file and open it.
Select Insert and choose Office 2010 Custom UI Part for Excel 2010 or later. Qsum UI 14.xml file is created for your program. You may take advantage of Sample XML file. Select a Sample XML file. Customize your custom UI 14.xml. The ribbon X code used in this example is XML. Excel can read this XML and convert it into UI elements, such as tabs, groups, and buttons. XML consists of data between opening and closing tags, or, in some cases, within self-closing tags. The first line defines the schema in a custom UI tag this tells Excel how to read the XML. The last line is the closing tag for the custom UI tag. Custom UI XML NS equals HTTP schemas.microsoft.com office 2907 custom UI. Custom UI. Everything between these two tags is interpreted as ribbon X code by Excel. The next line, the ribbon tag, defines that you want to work with the ribbon. Its closing tag is the second to last line. The XML is hierarchical, just like the ribbon. The button tags are contained in the group tag, the group tag is contained in a tab tag, the tab tag is contained in the tabs tag, and the tabs tag is contained in the ribbon tag. A brief description of attributes. ID. A unique identifier for custom elements. Label. The text to be displayed for the control in the ribbon. Size. Button controls can be large, or normal. On action. The name of the VBA procedure to run when the button is clicked. Image MSO. The identifier of a built-in image. You can use built-in images on your custom buttons. You can find the identifier name on the Customize Ribbon Option panel. ImageMSO identifier of your ImageMSO is found inside parentheses of command name which appear when you hover the command on the Customize Ribbon option. Press Validate button on toolbar to find the message Custom UI XML is well formed. VBA responds to user actions using events. The ribbon uses a different technique, callback procedures. The buttons are tied to the VBA code via the on action attribute. Callback procedures are created by Custom UI Editor based on the tied procedures defined in the Custom UI 14.xml. Press Generate Callbacks button on toolbar. Copy the callback procedure to be inserted into your program in code module as you define in the XML file. For example, MD main. Save and close custom UI editor. Open your program file.xlsm file to incorporate the callback procedure. To access your code, you need to enter your password. Paste the callback procedure you have copied from custom UI 14.xml file inside standard module MD main. Complete the callback procedure by defining the action to be taken by this procedure, for example, Call UF duplicates initialize. Reactive Excel to notice that your Ribbonx custom user interface is on. The button Excel Atten appears in a group utility of new Tapnik Smart on the ribbon. Convert to Excel Atten and install the Excel Atten. Save the XLSM file as SLAM file to create Excel Atten program. To set up a trusted location, follow these steps. File. Options. Trust Center. Press Trust Center setting. This activates the Trust Center dialog box. Click the Trusted Locations button. This opens the Trusted Locations menu which shows you all the directories that are considered trusted. Click the Add New Location button. Click Browse to find and specify the directory that will be considered a trusted location. On your Excel file, new or your working Excel file. Choose File then Options, and click the Add-ins tab. Choose Excel Add-ins from the Manage drop-down list and then click Go.
Click the Browse button on the Add-ins dialog. Locate and double-click the add-in that you just created. The Add-ins dialog box displays the add-in in its list and displays the descriptive information you have written in your file property panel. Click OK to close the dialog box. The add-in is installed. On the ribbon, a new tab named Think Smart is created with a new group and button under the group.